Hey guys, Tony here for Audioholics. Today we're going to be looking at a passive on-wall soundbar, the Ultra 3 from RBH, for just over $1,200. Now I know what you're thinking, who's going to pay $1,200 for a passive soundbar when you can get a decent left, right, and center channel for about the same price? I was pretty hesitant about reviewing this speaker. I mean, my TV's on a stand, the soundbar is designed to be wall-mounted, it's 63 inches and my TV's 52. It is a passive soundbar. What's the point? Then again, reviewing a product from RBH, any product from RBH, is kind of hard to pass up. Okay, so RBH released the Ultra 3 in 2014, so it's not necessarily a new product. We got a chance to preview it at Cedia in 2014 when it first came out, and really liked what we heard. The left center right passive soundbar does give you some options over more gimmicky immersive soundbars with 12 little tiny speakers and no ability to add any additional speakers. So that's pretty cool. With the Ultra 3, you do always have the option of adding surrounds and a subwoofer for a space saving but high fidelity 5.1 speaker system. All right, the Ultra 3 can be manufactured and shipped in sizes ranging from 63 inches, which is what this one is, all the way down to 47 inches. And it'll be custom made to fit the most popular makes and models of TVs in this range. So how much is this custom width? Free! Each soundbar is custom cut when ordered. The Ultra 3 is about one and a half inches deep, which reduces the amount of bass that could be achieved from a thicker unit. However, the sleek blended in design raises the visual appeal immensely. And we know that RBH engineers can come up with some creative ways to get the most sound out of their speakers. At about six and three quarter inches tall, it's pretty tall for a soundbar. On par for both size, quality, and price with the Blue Sound Pulse soundbar that we reviewed on Audioholics on the webpage. Okay, so the six inch height does allow RBH to move the triple tweeters above the six mid range drivers. This configuration helps to reduce acoustic interference common in mid-range tweeter, mid-range designs. Let's check out this cabinet. So it feels pretty solid. I mean, it's hefty, it's made of MDF, it does have internal bracing, and each chamber is sealed left, center, and right for each channel. The end caps are MDF also, and they're covered in high gloss black paint. This version of the Ultra 3 weighs in at about 12 and a half pounds and it goes down to about nine and a half pounds for a 47 inch unit. All right, so you can see here's the black grill. It is magnetic and uh, it's easy to get on and off. Uh, in this case, I do think that the Ultra 3 looks better with it on because you're really trying to get this to blend in with your whole decor. Let's see what drives this thing. The Ultra 3 has proprietary inverted domed aluminum four inch woofers and aluminum tweeters with textured phase plugs. The rated frequency response is 100 hertz to 20 kilohertz, plus or minus three dB. All right, all the mounting instructions, templates, screws were included in the box. And even though I didn't mount it to my wall, it does look pretty easy with the keyhole brackets. Looks like it would be a breeze. You could also get a soundbar speaker bracket from RBH, which allows you to attach the Ultra 3 directly to your TV's wall mount. All right, let's take a look at these front-mounted spring-loaded speaker cable clips. They were a bit tricky when using 10-gauge speaker cable I had coming out of my Yamaha receiver, so I ended up switching down to 12-gauge for the center and right channels. And although they were a tight fit, they were much easier to manage. I didn't particularly like the front-mounted speaker cable clips, but at just one and a half inches deep, there just simply isn't any room in the back of the unit to put the clips and mounting hardware and then securely fasten the speaker to the wall. All right, so the Ultra 3 is designed to be mounted to the wall, but in my case, I had to improvise and I placed it on my TV stand. Kind of a cool thing you can do with this Ultra 3, you can set it up as a single speaker and RBH does include instructions on how to do this. It's a pretty cool way of creating an ultra wide center channel speaker. All right, so what did I think of the Ultra 3? In my listening tests, I found the Ultra 3 to have a surprisingly wide soundstage for a 63-inch wide soundbar. No gimmicky extra speakers here, just a solid design to give you a precise left, center, and right sound. I did find the addition of a subwoofer helped the lows tremendously, though. All right, so to wrap up, I really enjoyed my time with the RBH Ultra 3 on-wall soundbar. 
Its clean look appeals to minimalist decor, and the option of having the soundbar cut to your display at no additional cost is a huge bonus. At just over $1,200, plus free shipping, the RBH Ultra 3 is not inexpensive. We've done reviews on active soundbars with subwoofers for a tenth of that price. That's not to say they're in the same league as the Ultra 3, but this isn't a soundbar for the budget-minded audiophile. For me, using the Ultra 3 without a subwoofer as a sole set of speakers for a home theater room was just not enough. But since you're hooking this up to a receiver that most likely has a subwoofer out, even the addition of a budget-priced sub would help tremendously with the low end. All right, so tell us what you think of the video in the comments sections below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and our Patreon channel, Patreon slash Audioholics. Give us a thumbs up. And once again, this is Tony Liotta from Audioholics. Keep listening.